Today's been a good day. So finally, uh, Jeffrey and Gary, Vampire Cloaky and Old Doing Dragon, finally made up. Jeffrey ended the war which he had started. This war, it almost went on to about two weeks. So it started about a week and a half ago. And Jeffrey, now I had no, uh, I had nothing to do with them making up. They made up on their own. Jeffrey wanted to talk to Gary and called up Gary. Gary got in the party and they talked. And I taped it and they made a peace treaty, a peace agreement between each other. So next time a fight breaks out, they will either resolve it themselves or they'll both get removed. Because I'm not, not putting up with that. So if Ada tries to you know, accuse me of getting them back together or being the reason why Jeffrey get and them got back together in case I get into our fight. I got video proof of that. So she can't, you know, sit there and say, Oh, every time, you know, Jeffrey and Van break up friendship I get them back and that's not true. I had nothing I had nothing to do with it this time. Last time I got them back, yes. That's only because I managed to get Ada to listen to me. But this time I did nothing. Also, what's an incredible day is the return of Jew Money. Jew Money's back. I haven't talked to him in a while. I'm in a large party with him, and I don't really care for large parties. But I figured I'm going to spend some time with Jew. He's been gone for three months. Three months he's been gone, and he's back. So, yay, Jew Money's back. I don't have the TV turned up because it's late, so, yeah, nothing really exciting going on. Jumani's just talking to some guys. So, Jumani's doing good. Are you getting ready to play some Gears? I probably will not tape tonight because Jumani's rusty and I don't think he's going to be very good. So, he's going to have to get his game on. After all, being off the game for three months. Yeah. So it's great having Jew Money back and Dino hasn't been online for a few days so that kind of feels awkward. Just got Jew Money back. But yeah, I'm glad the war is over between Jeffrey and Gary. Because now I don't have to worry whose guild I was going to join. I was going to join Gary's regardless. Because Gary's, you know, he he's smarter than Jeffrey and he doesn't piss people off. You know, he doesn't start shit or uh, wars, so I knew Gary's guild is strong and it'll be running for a while. Jeffrey's guild, he's not really a leader and he can't lead. Jeffrey wants to be a leader, but honestly, dude, Jeffrey, no offense, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or anything, bro, but you are not meant to be a leader. Okay, Jeffrey? That's simple. Now, being a leader of a guild or of anything, of any field... It's hard. Because you gotta keep control. And you gotta always show people you are the dominant. It's part of being a leader. So if somebody don't like your rules. Tough luck. And if they get in your way. You get rid of them. That's what being a leader is all about. It's control. And knowing the right and wrong things to do. And making decisions. Tough decisions. So yeah, I mean I was feeling kind of bad about wanting to join Gary's because I did want to join Jeffrey's because he is like my best friend besides Everest. So yeah, I was feeling kind of bad about that and I wasn't sure if I, sh like I knew joining Jeffrey would be a stupid idea, but I was thinking about it, but I knew back in my mind that I was probably going to join at Gary's anyway because Jeffrey screwed himself basically. But now that they're friends again, and Ada, I know what you'll try and do. You're going to try and blame their them becoming friends on me again. I know that's what you're going to think. But I had nothing to do with that, so don't try it. And if you don't believe me, you can watch the videos that I'll be posting on YouTube. That will be posted by the time this video is up. So Ada, yeah, I got video proof of the whole thing. And I had nothing to do with that again so yeah good day and i'm about to 
play some gears with uh, June Money. So, yep. Catch you later.